with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 3 of 4 etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclina schedule. Barnome hai ma shamele zaban hai besiarist. As in website, didan farmoid suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. On his return to Tibet, Ri Chen Pa, vegetarian, not only came with many books, he also carried with him a lot of pride which had poisoned his mind. Spiritual Adventures of the Venerated Master Ri Chen Pa, vegetarian, part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. I am certainly happy to see, though, that living on a plant-based diet not only benefits my health, but also inspires other people to do the same and ultimately can have a positive impact on the environment, as it is currently being crushed by the impact of animal agriculture. Ben Dame, vegan. Rare video shows bald eaglets hatching in Florida. The parents, Harriet and M15, spent more than a month guarding and incubating the eggs. It typically takes 12 to 72 hours for an eaglet to break free of its shell. Harriet has laid 23 eggs since 2012. Peace is happening around our world. There are many countries who have taken actions to promote peace and foster amity among peoples and governments. The following is one of them. September 2023 Yemeni Houthi rebels meet with Saudi Arabian government officials over five days to discuss resolving the conflict in Yemen. By creating peace, we all can make a loving, serene and prosperous world. Upon seeing a Tibetan Monpa friend try greeting them with Tashidelek, that's Halu in Tibetan, one of the languages spoken by the Monpa people. Beloved viewers, I am Dasanglu. The sincere Monpa people wish that you may continuously thrive in divine wisdom. Welcome to Spiritual Adventures of the Venerated Master Richungpa Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2.
Jetson Richung Dorji Drakpa, often referred to as Richungpa, vegetarian, was an 11th to 12th century enlightened master who was responsible for the branching of Richung Kagyupa Tibetan Buddhism. This is a lineage of the Chakra Samvara Tantra, or advanced meditation of the highest bliss. Rechungpa had received Korlo Demchok or direct spiritual transmission from one of Tibetan Buddhism's most well-known yogis, the venerated enlightened master Jetsun Milarepa, vegetarian, and was regarded by him as heart son. As presented in the 100,000 songs of Milarepa, Rechungpa's relationship with Milarepa is a significant aspect of Tibetan Buddhist tradition reflecting the profound inner connection between master and disciple. With Milarepa's guidance, Rechungpa is gradually shaped into a being of great enlightenment over the course of a lifetime. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Richungpa was born Dorji Drak in 1084 in Rala, in the historic Gumtak region of Tibet. He was a very bright child and was known to recite sacred texts for people in the local community. Richungpa first encountered his master at the youthful age of 11. The boy was on Goat Hill in Happy Valley when he heard singing coming from a cave. He approached the source of the melodies and there was Milarepa. The 100,000 songs of Milarepa recounts that as soon as Richungpa laid his eyes upon the master, Samadhi arose within him and for a moment he stood transfixed in ecstasy. From that moment onward, Rechungpa devoted himself entirely to Milarepa, staying with him in order to learn the Dharma and quickly achieving realizations through meditation. Practical yogic techniques such as Tumo heat allowed him to wear just a thin white cotton outfit in the cold Tibetan climate and young Dorji Drak became known as the little cotton-clad one or Rechungpa. Soon the boy yogi's family came looking for him at the cave of Milarepa. Angry at their loss of income due to his absence, they used black magic which caused Rechungpa to become sick with leprosy. One day, five Indian yogis arrived at Rechungpa's abode and he offered them some roasted barley. One advised the ailing Richungpa to seek guidance and healing from his guru, Parachandra, in India. This led to Richungpa's first journey to India in order to get the wrathful thunderbolt holder with eagle wings method to be healed. Before departing, Richungpa asked for Milarepa's permission to travel. His master replied, I pray my guru, Marpa Lotsawa, vegetarian, to whom I owe immense gratitude. I pray you to protect and bless my son, Richungpa. Milarepa advised Richungpa to keep the Buddhist precepts and renounce the world, praying that he be healed and live a long and happy life. Richungpa then sealed his master inside the cave for a meditation retreat and left for India. When he returned to Happy Valley, Richungpa reopened Milarepa's cave and said, I am well again. I have obtained what I wanted. From now on, I would like to remain in solitude and stay near you. Please be so kind as to grant me further inner teachings. Richungpa then attained the perfect experiences and realization through meditation with the six yogas of Naropa granted by his master. Mm -hmm. 
After some time, Rechungpa, together with other repas or cotton-clad practitioners, accompanied Milarepa to holy Mount Kailash, where their master then won a contest against Bonpo practitioner Naro Bonchung vegetarian. Rechungpa declared that Milarepa was certainly a Buddha and composed this rhyme. I am like a Garuda flying in the sky, and so, there is no danger of my falling to the ground. I am like a fish in the water, so there is no danger of being smashed by waves. So with these instructions you gave me, there is no danger of any obstacles hindering me. In response, Milarepa advised his disciple not to be overconfident or prideful, and that it would be difficult for Rechimpa to become Buddha. However, he admitted that eventually things are bound to turn out well in accordance to his inner knowledge of the future. As it turns out, Rechungpa did still harbor doubts about his master and sometimes wondered whether his own realization was greater. Once Milarepa, reading such thoughts, quickly admonished his disciple. To demonstrate that his disciple's powers were not yet complete, he made his handprint in a solid rock face. On the other hand, Rechungpa was left injured when he failed to copy his master's yogic feat. Vegan, rescue yourself from hell! Faithful viewers will be back after a brief interlude here on Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Spiritual Adventures of the Venerated Master Rechungpa Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2. Rechungpa returned to India and found Varachandra, offering gold as a token for his earlier kindness in treating his illness. Varachandra was aware of Rechungpa's deep connection with Milarepa. He recommended that Rechungpa receive teachings from Thibupa, vegetarian, another esteemed pupil of Narupa, vegetarian. Thibupa is recognized as the reincarnation of Dharma Dode, who was the son and disciple of Marpa Lutsava, vegetarian. Tragically, Dharma Dode met a premature death due to an accident. However, Marpa, possessing extraordinary abilities as a realized Lama, was able to extend his son's life temporarily. He received precise instructions from his father on how to transfer his consciousness into the body of a deceased pigeon person known as Thipu in Tibetan. Afterwards, in the form of a pigeon individual, Dharma Dode flew to India where he conveyed his consciousness into the body of a recently departed 16-year-old boy. When beloved master Naropa met Thibupa, he performed a miracle, rising into space and dancing in rainbow light. Naropa stated, You are the son of Marpa, you are Thibupa, and so you have the blessing of Naropa. Thibupa diligently followed the teachings of Marpa and Narupa until he attained Mahasiddha, Great Perfect One Realization. Rechungpa meanwhile became frustrated with a group of scholar priests who were challenging Melarepa's veracity in a debate. He suddenly rushed at the challengers with a stick under the illusion that he was protecting his master's honor, only to be again rebuked, this time with a song. Rei Chungpa, listen to your Guru's words. In the great ocean of the Dharma practice, my fish child of awareness learns to swim, but never should he pride himself on his power of swimming, lest he fall into the net of confusion. Even so, Rechungpa didn't think Milarepa had dealt with the priests of the rival order sufficiently. Milarepa, although possessing knowledge of the dark arts, naturally refused to teach this to his disciple, 
and also advised him that learning the art of debate was a worthless exercise. Prachumpa became prone to jousts of logic and would often argue with Milarepa and others in an attempt to exhibit his own worth. He pleaded with his master to let him go to India again in order to be trained in the art of reason. Milarepa eventually agreed to let him go under the condition that he bring back further teachings of the Bodhila's Dakini Dharma series to Tibet with him but not the teachings of logic nor sorcery. Marpa had been granted four of the teachings of the bodiless Dakini by Naropa and he foresaw a prophecy that a follower of the Kagyu lineage would be the one to bring the remaining five teachings to Tibet. Alignment with these prophetic visions was the reason Malarepa gave his approval for Rachungpa to undertake the journey to India. Rachungpa went through many dangers to find Thibupa, such as a journey over swaying rope bridges through bandit-infested forests and a plague-ridden Kathmandu Valley where corpses were piled in heaps as if they were composed. Eventually, Rachumpa obtained the ninefold cycle of the Bodhila's Dakini's teachings from Thibupa and then started putting them into practice. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Andorra is one of them. Andorra, Law on the Keeping and Protection of Animals of 1998 This law outlines basic guidelines for the protection of both domestic and wild animal people with three types of violations Minor, serious and very serious The respective penalties are fines of up to 300 euros, 3000 euros and 12,000 euros. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughter houses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace. So be it. <laughs> On his return to Tibet, Rachungpa not only came with many books, he also carried with him a lot of pride which had poisoned his mind so that he didn't trust his master's judgment. In response, Milarepa instigated a deeper lesson, asking his disciple to pick up a yak person horn on their path. Rachungpa was instead contemptuous, forcing Milarepa to collect it instead. Soon afterwards, a violent hailstorm arose. There was no shelter and Milarepa suddenly seemed to disappear. It was not long before Rachungpa discovered the yak person horn lying on the ground with his master's voice coming from within. Milarepa had incredibly taken shelter within the horn. Oh, son Rachungpa, your mind is like a nimble bird. Now it flies high and now it swoops low. You should observe this unstable change. Stop thinking so much and devote yourself to the Repa's practice. Vegan Side Effect Feeling Rich Inside Out
free all humans from conscientious or unphysical prison by implementing strict law for animals protection. Luminescent viewers, thank you for your company today. Join us again on Sunday, December 17th for Spiritual Adventures of the Venerated Master Richinka, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2. Up next is International Animal Rights Day, touching stories of animal people rescues here on Supreme Master Television. May Divine Light bring you ceaseless peace and clarity. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash ls.